Hello, Mastalino students! Welcome to Mastalino Classroom. Ngayong araw, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba i-factor out ang isang perfect square trinomial. We'll start with a simple activity. Give the product of the given square of binomial. For the first one, Right, it is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16. For the second one, Okay, it is equal to 4y squared minus 4y plus 1. For the third one, Correct, it is equal to x squared plus 6xy plus 9y squared. And for the last one, Correct, it is equal to 25a squared minus 20ab plus 4b squared. From our previous activity, one of the given square of binomials is the quantity x plus 4 squared. And we know based from its exponent that it is equal to quantity x plus 4 times quantity x plus 4. We can actually think of these two factors as the sides of the square since a square has length and width that are equal. If these are the dimensions of the square, its area would be equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16. Now, in the given equation, the left side expression is called a square of binomial because obviously it is a binomial or a polynomial with two terms that is being squared or raised to a power of 2. Whereas, the right side expression is called a perfect square trinomial since it has three terms and at the same time, it's an area of a square. Knowing that the result of the square of binomial is a perfect square trinomial, it would now be easy for us to factor out a perfect square trinomial. Its factored form will always be a square of binomial. The question now is, how do we check if the given is a perfect square trinomial? Obviously, it must have three terms. But after that, what are the other requirements? Here are the two requirements. One, first and last terms are perfect squares, and both are positive. Two, middle term is equal to twice the product of the square roots of the first and last terms. We'll have some examples for us to understand the PSD test. Is this trinomial a PST? Let us see. As you can observe, the first and the last terms are perfect squares since x squared is equal to the square of x and 4 is equal to the square of 2. And they are both positive. Ang first requirement I satisfied, so we'll proceed to the second requirement. Taking the square roots of the first and last terms, we have x and 2, respectively. Now, taking twice the product of these square roots, we have 2 times x times 2 equal to 4x. We have satisfied the second requirement since the resulting product is equal to the middle term, regardless of its sign. Kaya, masasabi natin na ang given ay isang PST. Alright, let's have the second example. Is the given a PST? We will apply the PST test. As you can see, the first and last terms are perfect squares since 4x squared is equal to the square of 2x and 9y squared is equal to the square of 3y and both are positive. Done na tayo sa first requirement. Now, taking the square roots of the first and last terms, we have 2x and 3y respectively. Afterwards, 
we take twice their product. So, we have 2 times 2x times 3y, which is equal to 12xy. Again, we do not mind their signs. Dan na tayo sa second requirement. Kaya, masasabi natin na ang given ay isang EST. Next example, we have 25a squared minus 10a minus 1. Checking the first and last terms, both are perfect squares since 25a squared is equal to the square of 5a and 1 is equal to the square of 1. However, the last term is negative. So, hindi na satisfy ang unang requirement. Therefore, the given is not a PST. And for the last example, the given polynomial is b squared minus 32b plus 16. As you can see, the first and last terms are perfect squares since b squared is equal to the square of b and 16 is equal to the square of 4 and they are both positive. First requirement is satisfied. Now, taking the square roots of the first and last terms, we have b and 4 respectively. Afterwards, kunin natin ang twice the product ng kanilang square roots. So, we have 2 times b times 4 which is equal to 8b but not equal to our middle term which is 32b. So, masasabi natin na ang given ay hindi PST. This time, we'll talk about how to factor out PST. Here are the steps. 1. Determine the square root of the first and last terms. And 2. Using the square roots of the first and last terms, in order, form a square of binomial whose operation in between the two terms is the same as the sign of the middle term. To make the steps clearer, we'll have some examples. Let's factor x squared plus 4x plus 4. If we'll check, it's a PST. So, we can now proceed in applying the steps in factoring it out. Taking the square roots of the first and last terms, we have x and 2, respectively. We now use these square roots in making a square of binomial together with the sign of the middle term. So, we have quantity x plus 2 squared. It is the factor form of our given PST. Second example, let's factor 4x squared plus 12xy plus 9y squared. You can verify that it is a PST. So, we may now proceed in factoring it out. So, square roots of the first and last terms are 2x and 3y respectively. Using these square roots as well as the sign of the middle term, we have the square of binomial quantity 2x plus 3y squared. And it is the factor form of our PST 4x squared plus 12xy plus 9y squared. For our third example, we have a squared minus 3ab plus 9b squared. If we look at it closely, the second requirement in the PST test was not satisfied since twice the product of the square roots of the first and last terms is not equal to our middle term. Hence, it is not a PST. This means that we cannot apply the steps in factoring out a PST. In this case, you can try other factoring techniques that would be applicable. For our fourth example, we have 81 minus 18m plus m squared. You may check that this one is indeed a PST, so we'll now proceed in factoring it out. Square roots of the first and last terms are 9 and m, respectively. Using these square roots as well as the sign in the middle term, we have the square of binomial quantity 9 minus m squared. And it's the factored form of our given PST. 
All right. The steps that we have followed in our examples can be shortened by familiarizing this general formula. If we have a PST of the form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, its factored form is the square of binomial quantity a plus b squared and also a PST of the form a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Its factored form is the square of binomial quantity a minus b squared wherein a and b are the square roots of the first and last terms. And the operation in between the two terms is dependent on the sign of our middle term. Let's have more practice. Factor the following trinomials completely if possible. For your hint, apply common monomial factoring first if possible. Let us discuss the answers. For number 1, as we can see, it is a PST. Now, using the square roots of the first and the last terms, as well as the sign of our middle term, we have quantity x plus 3 squared. Hence, the factored form of x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to the quantity x plus 3 squared. For number 2, again, if we observe, it is a PST. So, using the square roots of the first and last terms, as well as the sign of our middle term, we can now express it in the form quantity 2a minus 5b squared. Hence, the factored form of 4a squared minus 20ab plus 25b squared is the quantity 2a minus 5b squared. And lastly, for number 3, as we can see, hindi siya obviously PST kasi di naman perfect squares yung first and last terms. But, it has a common monomial factor of 2. So, if we factor out muna natin ang 2 at makikita natin na ang remaining factor ay isa ng PST which means we can factor it out further. So, using the square roots of the first and last terms, as well as the sign of our middle term, it can now be rewritten as 2 times the quantity y plus 6 squared. Hence, the factored form of 2y squared plus 24y plus 72 is 2 times the quantity y plus 6 squared. Do you have any questions about our lesson? If none, Test yourself by answering the following. You may pause the video for a while to answer and comment down your answers when you are done. That's all for today class. Goodbye!